almost the entire four hours. So go get the resources, smelt down all the resources, and then turn the resources into this gun, right? So that's basically what happened. And I just couldn't do that again today. I'm like, I, I could normally go and go and go for like resources when it's something like seven days to die. Or even for something like RimWorld, it just, uh, it never, never like bothers me. Never like makes me like feel like it's effort or anything. But this particular one, Sunken Land, because I've got to like, I've got to get in a boat, I've got to go out, I've got to go diving. My base might get attacked while I'm out. Um, you know, I might die while I'm out, then swim back and stuff. Like it's a little bit more um, work. And it is kind of a little bit of work. But then again, I haven't had, like, Seven Days is really the closest thing I've had to a game like this, as opposed to, like, you know, um, what, is that running? Uh, there we go. As opposed to, like, like Seven Days, where the further away you get from your base, the more safe it kind of is. As, like, in this game, it doesn't fucking matter where you are. You, you will get attacked. Your base will get attacked. They're separate entities. It's wild. Um, yeah. Also, like, I have to move the cassette around a bit inside the game console. Oh, yeah. No, that's just old console business, realistically. It's kind of a little bit normal, in a way. Um, that just comes with time and use. That one's nearly done. Alright, so I am going to go over to the trader, since... I like the fact that she's like never really closed, but I'm going to go over there nonetheless and see if I can sell off some of this crap. I'm selling it off. Oh, I don't have space for that. Hold up. Let me put my swimming thingy away. Let me put this and this in here. That way I have a little bit more space. You two can sit in there. They'll give me money for selling stuff. All right. That'll do it. Uh, let's see. These are nearly done. They'll be fine. They'll, they'll be done when I get back. Um... Was it? But for the other games, nothing works. It just gives me green screen. Weird. I wonder why. Like, I wonder if it like requires something specific and it's like damage or something. Sometimes it gives me other colors. <laughs> I like that. It's it's not specific. It's like any color will do. Just fucking throw one at the screen. I love the fact that she gets tired swimming sometimes. I don't know if I put away my thing if I can swim better. But yeah, the trade is actually getting like some decent tree action growing up over here. I've been leaving her trees alone. Back to like her corner. No worries. Check it out. All right, so we want to sell this shit. Hold on. There we go. Let's like put in here a couple of other things. I just want space. For my inventory. I don't think any of those items have value. Okay, well, she still will exchange stuff. I might just take her coins, honestly. There's really not that much that she can offer me. You want that for a deal, fine. Uh, but it was really fun playing these really old games. Oh, just, um, some of the older games can be really fun, honestly. Like, I don't know. I don't know why, but some of them are just, like, enjoyable. Like, oh wait, I can get a, I was going to say, can I get a scope? I've been ignoring this the whole time. I need more than that. All right, I'm not going to be picky. Ugh, all kept dying, first level of Mario. Oh man, good old Mario, old Mario too. I'm going to take these back. I'm not going to sell the ballistic fiber. Um, I don't even really want to have the coins. I keep selling her coins. But can I target enemies? Oh, okay, so you can just put it into here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, automatic... Automatic little dotty thingy. Can I have that on all of my guns? Is No. Not this one. <laughs> no. Alright, so it just automates onto... Okay, so that's a scope spot. So what the fuck is that one supposed to do? I've got... I need to repair my shit. I've got helmet, I've got goggles. I've got armor, clothes, clothes, shoes, bag, and more clothes, I guess. I have headlamp, flipper thingies, red dot, small air tank, and I wonder what the fuck that is. Also, can I put this in either spot? It literally, I only just put it to there, but if I can put it... Okay, so it's it doesn't care which one I put it in. 
I can literally put it in either. All right, that's wild. I better be able to get better shit than this because I've been doing all right with these, honestly. All right, let's swim back. I'm kind of keen to see how that goes. I also kind of want to shoot that shark with it, but now I actually want to like deal with a battle. Um, and back at home. I also need to see what kind of resources I need to make a second gun. I'll have a look at that. Okay, I've got a couple of sticks here too that must have fallen into water. Okay, so my place is looking pretty fucking unnatural in a sense, apart from like the monumental amount of fucking lights around the place because they don't require any like resources once you've made them, so of course I'll have them. I want to see what I need for that. I think I needed a lot of steel sheets. I think I needed eight. No, not the loot box. Let me in the house. I gotta admit, that's the only frustrating thing with that door. The I've got ballistic fiber. I might. No, I've already got 20 and 20. Let's pop you guys back in here. Okay. Now, my strawberries always come with worms for some fucking reason. Can I play this game with friends? Yeah. yeah you can. I'm not sure how many you can have. Um, I've played it solo. I'm pretty sure Grim has the game, but when I got it, nobody I knew had the game. So I wasn't too stressed about whether or not I was going to be able to like play with people. I was just like, okay, well I can run around and explore the world and, um, I'll put my coins over here. And yeah, I'm kind of like slowly going through cause like they have like a basic mission thing. Like you need to establish a base. Um, you need to have foundations, you need to go scavenge for stuff like above and below water. You can hunt fish and stuff like that. You want to be cautious of like, this is all they've got for like law and missions at the moment because it is still an early access. I'm still waiting for when they like come out of early access. As for like building, you've got a lot of variety. Like you can have a couple of different grills, um, water purifiers, you can have decorative stuff, you can have like planters. You can go into like production stuff where you can research things. You can have various furnaces, upgraded stuff. Um, you can use resources and condense them down into even higher quality resources, which allows you to build even more fancy things. So you can have various kinds like storage and stuff like that. Or you can make furniture, any kind of furniture, more or less. As long as you find the blueprint for it, you can kind of make it as long as you get the resource combo for it. You can make it like this one needs a fine wood plank to make a better bed than what I've got. You can make boats. You can find blueprints to get better stuff. Like I've found a blueprint for like lights. I've found blueprints for better beds, wallpapers, um, carpets, better ammo. I've even found like blueprints and stuff for like boats and guns and stuff all up here. So I've been able to upgrade my gear. Like, the map is pretty extensive at this point, considering it's early access. I know this is as zoomed as I can get, but, like, anywhere that is red is above water. Anywhere that's white is below water. So you'd have to dive to explore this place, and you'd be able to walk around with a gun above ground for this place. Some of these places are protected by sharks, various types of sharks. So if you want to, say, dive down to Neptune, you've got to fight a shark to get to that boat. Same with like, you know, certain ruins and stuff like that. There are sharks protecting it. Different areas have resources, like one might have copper or sulfur or iron or something like that. Sometimes they're both underwater and above water. Sometimes they're only under or above. Um, like red algae, coral type stuff is only underwater. And you can use that to make like uh, healing recipes and stuff like this. So I can turn this into like a little healing medicine, like that, and that's instantly, if I wanted to have that it would heal me a bit, but I didn't really need to do that. I do need to feed her though. You can cook heaps of different meals in like various different combinations, it helps with stamina, um, you know, stuff like that. Like I don't have that at full bar yet, so she'll run out of stamina a lot quicker. So there's a lot of stuff you can do, there's a lot of stuff you can explore and research. Um, when you do research something, like, if I go downstairs, like, I'm still researching at the moment. I don't know if there's a fifth tier yet, but, like, I'm up to tier four. I think that's currently the top one that I'm aware of that you can research up to. So these are the four things I've got to research left. 
I've already done all the other tiers. After I research them, they go into like my build section and I can then use resources to build them. And then once I've built that, then I can go to the thing and see what resources I need to build whatever it needs. And then again, if it's a gun, you then need to have like another stand to be able to make the ammo and stuff like that. So every single step of it is you have to like, you know, explore, um, get resources, um, create things, create stuff for other things like the smelting and stuff that I'm doing upstairs. The whole reason why I'm procrastinating that is because last time I played is I basically just sat there and did just that. So if I come back up in here, right, I'll go get some ore. Right, so uh, a bit more than that. They'll do it. So these are my furnaces. I don't want to sleep. Uh, I'm, I'm touching my bed. Hold on. There we go. So this is my furnace, right? And it will do one bit of ore at a time. And those one bits of ore will make individual ingots. And those individual ingots will take five of them to make a steel ingot. And once you've got a steel ingot, you can then put that with advanced parts and make advanced things. So it's a little bit slow going in some areas. Like I'm trying to do, which it might be from inventory. What was I trying to do? I'm trying to make another gun. That'd be under defense. I'm trying to make another one of these. So for starters, I need four advanced parts, and I think I've only got like two or three. I'm going to need eight steel ingots, which basically means that's five iron ingots per sheet. So, you know, 45 iron ingots, I think that is, was something around there, to make eight steel ingots. So for each one of those, I'm going to need enough ore, which I don't have enough ore, because this is iron, that's copper. Um, and then... What else do I need? I've got enough gun parts and I've got enough scrap metal, I think. Yeah, I've still got scrap metal. Yeah, I've still got plenty of scrap. Um, but yeah, I have to get all those little bits and pieces and then basically just put them all together and then I get to make things. Like I've got four at the moment. So if I could make eight sheets, I've got four sheets. I'm not gonna be able to make, I don't think I can make eight at the moment. I don't think I've got enough resources for that. But I mean, if I found more iron around the place, I could do it. These are done. So grab these. And then, there we go. I have five because I already had five in my inventory, more or less. And yeah, that is the process of making one of those fucking guns outside. It's a lot of time and effort. If I only had one of these, which by the way, when I started the game, I only had one of everything. I've got two of those ammo things. I don't need to, but sometimes I run downstairs and sometimes I do it here. I have a generator, which I can... This is still on. Hold on. You take that. If I grab one rubber... Move that. If I turn this on... I don't want to add fuel. If I can add a wire to this thing, right? I can turn that on. Now when it's night time... I want to leave that like that. I can just turn that off. I need to add fuel. But yeah, next time it gets dark... I can essentially just turn that on and this whole place will light up even brighter with that light, that singular light. I don't have any powered stuff in here apart from that. And I think downstairs, yeah, there's one cable going downstairs. These generators, they can only hold four cables at a time. So I have one doing a battery charger. I've got one going downstairs to the sawmill and I've got one in the window light. And I could have one more. I just don't have it connected yet. I also don't know how it ends up with that like green bar thing saying it's like got 100 out of 230 i don't know if it's damaged i haven't actually checked hold on let me stand up i can have this for a hot minute let me find out cheese scarlet i can welcome in let's see if this thing's damaged what have you been up to scarlet now this thing isn't damaged i don't know what its beef is it's got full fuel it's in the green i just don't know why it's like that but anyway it's fine so yeah, you can also, like, I've found all this fuel around the place. I haven't got that. I've bought batteries, which I replaced my headlamp and I did all those. So yeah, I've got spare batteries, stuff like that. Originally, to get water for the original distiller, you had to have a fucking bucket and shit. So yeah, a lot of this stuff is, like, slow pace, manual stuff. But it's kind of, like, no real different than, like, if you're trying to survive on your own, um... 
like in a post-apocalyptic world. I just love the fact that my person is supposedly like this creative and skilled and powerful and stuff like that, even though like who knows like how long after all this like flooding and shit went down that she woke up like this. Like she obviously existed in this world for a while before I just inhabited her. Like that's how I kind of feel. It's a little weird. I'm gonna go get that fish. Is it not really much to be honest? That's all good. I feel like that's been like the general consensus of the weekend at this point. Give me the fish. All right. You can also get fish with traps. You can also do fishing if you want. But like, it's not a super super peaceful game. And like, yes, it is in a sense where you can stand here and just be like, like this is pretty. This is for sure pretty. And then you can go into the water and yeah, it's also pretty. You know. But eventually you get attacked. Your base gets attacked. Eventually you have to fight to defend it so it doesn't get destroyed. Like it's a little bit of work, honestly. That tree's gonna be a problem. But yeah, I also had one of these things down here too. So this is gonna be fun. Next time somebody stands here and tries to fuck with this wall, I hope that falls on them. So one up there is <laughs> the one up there's not doing it. <laughs> I, I was hoping that it would because that would obviously be like crushing force to come down from that distance. I also left stuff in this chest. Me those. Yeah. I can also just, if I want to, I can dive down in here and check out places that are like nearby. I've already done places like this, so there's nothing in them. There used to be like various resources and stuff. Um so yeah, it's it's quite nice. Sometimes the game's really beautifully peaceful. And other times I get some days where I'm just under attack like three or four times in a row. And I haven't even left my fucking house. Like, Jesus Christ, go home. This is my island. Fuck off. I get it. I've got lots of resources. I can also do that too. So there's fire. The best part is you can just stand on the fire and you don't catch fire. It's wonderful. And it warms you up in fucking nighttime when you're cold. So don't actually do that in real life. Nobody go stand on fire. You will burn. Like... Uh, I don't know how like impervious like everybody's like various levels are, but I assume you will catch fire. I'm gonna go get us some water. I do prefer that door being like stuck outwards. It's so much easier. All right, hit me up with some water. Water's renewable. The soda I prefer to be portable because I don't want to lose my like bottles and stuff. So I've got. Let's see. I don't think. I think Snapper goes into something. Tapons do. These don't. Brim doesn't. So I'll cook up these on that. Okay, that's all full. And yeah, I'll keep with the... That's only got a couple. I'm almost out of ore. So yeah, they'll do it. Put that away. And I've got more shark fin and more scrap metal. I don't think I'm going to have enough. I've got five seal ingots now. I will soon have six. Soon. Um, but six isn't going to be the eight that I need and I'm fast running out. Yeah, I'm going to have like maximum probably six-ish. Yeah, but that's okay. I've, I've been ignoring having to go and get, um, iron all day. I found some iron around the place. Don't, don't get me wrong. I have found some. I just haven't been going out and looking for it because I can't be fucked. Not today. I just don't feel like it. Let's see if I can put a bit more in this. I don't have any more wood. But yeah, now that I've got the gun that's over here, I tend to find that I'm not getting attacked over here. My enemies are now being crafty cunts and coming in from back here. Like, they're swimming in here. Like, the one and only weak spot in the entire place. So they used to come in over here. And they used to come in from the front there. And if I can get all the way around here, probably not. And they used to come in from over here, right? So they were the three places they consistently came in was over there, over there, and here. And now they come in from behind the base because I put this thing up. And this thing works wonders. And I will make a second one at the back of my base just to fuck them over. And I guess the only other thing is that I know that, like, maybe not that place. I don't think that's regenerated by now. There's got to be somewhere else out here. That has got it. I guess I should probably go find some. Like I've I've been avoiding it. I'll, I'll go get more. Um, let's put that back. That's all. I keep getting. Don't turn that off. I keep getting um copper, 
but not actually, um, what do you call it? Not the, the other shit. Give me that. It's not cooked. I don't know. My brain stopped right there. Okay, let's get me some food if I'm going to go out somewhere. And I think I've got enough ammo. Yep. Cool. Put the coal away. This should be enough. My boat should have enough on it. I think I've got healing on my boat. I don't know if I'm going to get attacked while I'm out. Could happen. What is that? Is that a crab? Is that a crab? Might be a bit far out to be a crab. No? Maybe? What are you? Are you well and truly under the water? Yeah, you're under the water. That's right. I was going to say, whatever that is there. I said this thing doesn't zoom, does it? No, not really. Also, can I change the scope at all? Not really, no. Okay, so I'm going to have to go fuck over a landmass. And I did see there were a couple up near the top. I do think this place is going to get attacked as soon as I leave because it's been a little while. So there's a couple landmasses that way. Like straight that way, and I want to go find out. I don't have any medical. I must have taken it all out. That is no. That's the other boat. That would be why. That's right. I have a motorboat now. Okay. We got medical. Cool beans. All right. Let's see. What is this place? Um. Might be unexplored. Let's go. Let's go find out what this is. Obviously arriving at night time is not the best thing, but I would like a chance to kind of run around and see if I can get some resources. I don't feel like diving. My scuba shit does not do that much. It doesn't do that much for me, honestly. But yeah, I also should fuck them over again sometime soon. I don't see any people though. They look like they've stayed dead for so long. Maybe that one just doesn't re-inhabit that fast. Drown downtown. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Yeah, that's underwater. Alright. I probably... Well, I haven't been there. I know that much. So what is this place out here then? Yeah, no, that's definitely one that is still a question mark. So what is this place? Also, get my gun out. I have a scope now. This is going to be wild. I don't know if it's going to help me. I've been doing pretty good so far without it. I mean, it can't hurt. It's not that much different. I think it zooms me in like just the tiniest bit. Okay, far away island. Wait, is this one I can have it? No, it's obviously got enemies on it. Okay. Did I charge? I did charge my helmet. Must be near somebody. I can't see him though. Are you near me? Where are you, mate? I cannot see you. The only problem with going out at night time, there is... These are copper. Look at that mushroom. Alright, where is my headlamp? All right, I'm not seeing anybody. There's a lot of copper out here. There's iron. I see iron. Right there. This place has a lot of resources. This place has so many mushrooms. Where are your people? I'll tell you what, I'm going to start mining shit while you guys are, like, sleeping. There's one. Look right there. Hey, mate. Oh, shit. Come back here, mate. No hiding behind fences, yeah? Come on. I don't have that much headlamp. This is actually a lot harder with the scope than how it has been. Jesus. I'm in a really bad blast zone here. Come on, stand back up. I know you're still alive. There you are. Whoa. What have you got? A shoddy. Looks like a shoddy. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's two of them. Did I bring? I did bring. Hello. This should be fun. Oh god. Let me sit back down for a sec. I made little grenades. Oh no, that guy's already dead. Hello. You're not. Jesus Christ, leave me alone. I'm just trying to steal shit. 
I have that much headlamp. Fucking hell. I have to turn my headlamp off. What the fuck is there? There's my L button. Okay, I don't have any more grenades. I can sit back down there. I think I can't get the gun. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. I'm going to have to wait until daytime or until they come near me. What did I pick up? I picked up some mushrooms. I can scrap stuff. I can run around the island and scrap stuff while it's dark. All right, let's do that because I don't have much of a choice. Also, let's get out my shotgun, please. Oh wait, if I do get close to somebody, I have a fair chance. There's also cotton and other stuff here. I could do with cloth. I just don't need that much cotton. There's a lot of scrap. Oh shit. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hey, mate. I cannot see you. So, the fact that you just died then, I'm sorry. That is very unfortunate. Where are you? Yeah? It's it's as dark for you as it is for me, people. Whatever you're seeing, like, you can turn up your brightness. I could probably fuck around with my monitor brightness, but ain't gonna be helping much. I have, like, a headlamp. It does, like, a little bit. What is this? Some kind of scrap shit. Beans. Nice. Yeah, my headlamp does, like, a little bit, but it doesn't do, like, ultra a lot. It lasts for like a few minutes. I would put it on if I got too close to the group of people again. But if I can avoid it, I don't want to waste the battery. I could also siphon the batteries from various different electronic stuff I'm using. What is over here? There is a chest down in there. No. I'll get this. There is an electrical thing here. I know I'm freezing cold. I know that. There's this. I want this. That's real important. And wherever the car was, the police car should have ammo. Yeah, pistol and shoddy ammo. Lots of it, too. Oh, and gun parts and fuel. Nice. Okay. So now I'm really fucking cold and I can't see shit. Fucking hell. Where's my light? I'm going to have to work with it. I can't see. Uh, I do not need more copper. This place has a severe abundance oh shit, fuck, of copper. And I do not require it. I need iron. I need iron more than anything. Lots of trees. There's lots of scrap. I need to heal. I'm over near the front again right now. Um, my healing's on the boat. Shit. Um that give me that they'll do some maybe i can steal some of this on here there's mushrooms and everything here wait i see you mate no you don't i know there's a second guy there come here mate i can't run that fast oh jesus there's a second guy there oh god i can't hide don't reload Oh no, this is where fucking PUBG helps. <laughs> Let me in that. <laughs> Alright, I need health and I'm not bleeding out or anything. Give me that. You guys can take all of this. I probably could have just put the fuel straight up in it. It's fine. Alright, I shouldn't have taken that out of the house, but it's happened. Alright, mate. Ready? I heard you over here. Where are you? Where are you, mate? there huh right over other gun please where are you there oh, yeah. oi oi don't shank me you cunt what was that right i'm in the darkness hold on i'm also bleeding out uh you i need your battery you headlight yeah i'll do it I better not have dropped that. All right, headlight back, please. But where was the cunt that just shanked me? I heard a knife go stabby. Just fucking ass. I'm still bleeding out, you know. Like a little fucking shooting range thing. There's a third guy there now. 
Ugh, oh, where are you? Oi! I heard that. Somebody must be near me and is occasionally like hitting something. Not quite sure where you went then. There you are. Oh shit. Fucking hell. I'm gonna need more health than this. Get back to the boat. It's almost dawn, so we should be almost all right. I need medical stuff. I've stopped bleeding out, but I need that. I don't need anything else for it. Let's go back. Okay. Move up over here. If you're looking that way, there's one guy up here. If I could get him, that would be great. There's also a guy right there. Come on. Okay, he's dead. The guy up higher that I'm worried about. 